So what's the difference between the E7500i and the D810? Well, actually they're pretty similar. They both have the same 660 foot range and they share a lot of the same functionality. There are four key differences. First, while they both have a digital viewfinder to help you locate the point outside, only the D810 works as a digital camera. You can take a screen capture and get images like this one that help you remember what you were shooting and what your measurements were. You get those images off the device using this USB port on the side. This is also how you charge the lithium ion battery, which is another key difference. This one has a rechargeable battery like a cell phone. This one uses regular AA batteries. Now this port on the side means that the D810 has an IP54 ingress protection rating, whereas the E7500i is a little more rugged and earns an IP65 rating. Now the really big difference between these two is the touchscreen. That's why we call this the D810 Touch. It also enables a function called measure in picture, which allows you to locate your target, get your distance, and take a picture of it, and then you can use the touch screen to move little point, you know what? It's too hard to even try to describe that here. So last winter, we sent me out when I was 20 pounds heavier to show you how it works. So this property has this bump out behind me on the second story which complicates what would otherwise have been a pretty simple rectangular perimeter measurement. In this case, I have this handy deck to stand on so I can easily ascertain the depth of the bump out with the simple distance measurement function. So there's six feet. I could also stand here to get the width, but what if I didn't have this deck to stand on? What if as in a lot of cases, this dormer was just hanging out in space and I needed to shoot it from the ground. That's where measure in a picture comes in. Okay, so back down on the ground, we're going to use measure in a picture to determine the width of this bump out on the second story behind me. So I'm going to select measure in a picture. And what measure in a picture needs is for you to be in the center, 90 degrees perpendicular to the center of whatever it is that you're trying to measure. Now in this case, I got some great visual cues. I got this light that's uh, above a doorway in the middle of the wall, and I got the peak of the roof above it. So I got plenty of uh, visual reference to line myself up in the center of the property, center of what I'm trying to measure, I should say. So now I'm going to take my shot in measure in a picture mode. I'm going to line it up right above that light. And now I've captured my distance to the wall and my angle to it. And in measure and picture, I can adjust the tabs to the corners of the wall, either by simply in the D810, just by touching and sliding them. And if I need to get a little more fine tune, I can use the buttons on the bottom. There you go, 12 feet. 